So I decided to make a quick video about one subject that I have noticed. It is the type of people that you meet online. And they are communities of these people that are like Christian and shamanistic or and alchemy. Or and they get into alchemy they're, and mystical. But they're Christian. Okay? This is a lie. It's a fabrication because you cannot ever be both. As if the mystical is devilish to the Christians. The real Christians would know and call you out as a satanic monster. If you say that you're into t you're a Christian, you go to church, but you accidentally say, or you accidentally say, "Ooh, I do tarot. I'm mystical. I like the moon." They will call you Satan themselves. The example that I'm trying to get across is Deuteronomy 18:5. It, it says, and it really mixes child sacrifice with. Uh, for some reason, it mixes child sacrifice with sorcery. They did the same thing with Moloch, too. Because if you actually do research in the Bible, it says Moloch was um, the pit. Had a, was the pit where you put children to burn and sacrifice. If you actually research this pagan deity for yourself, you will notice for fact that Moloch was never used for child sacrifice. Fact. So, and I've known people personally, and people online, I've just seen it all over the place, where they say they're Christian or Christic. I think Christic is the term they use as well, but they, tra but they practice medicine, but they practice mysticism, they, they practice tarot. You are against, you people like that are not Christian. I'm not a Christian. I am not a Christian, so I know I can do all that. But as soon as you meet a Christian that says, I like medicine, I like science, I like any of that, it's not a true Christian. A lot of people say they're Christian, but they, sort of, uh, uh, they practice um, a form of alchemy. They believe in natural medicine, um, which is alchemy, witchcraft. Uh, plant. Um, I know there's a, a green witch. It's called being a green witch. 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 Here. And the witch is against the Holy Bible. Because being a green witch is, you know, natural medicine. They just cover it up. There's a whole bunch of satanic infiltration in the, in the, in the church itself. Where the entirety of the Christian church was always the heart of the devil. Either or. Either the Holy Bible, all the Bibles ever written, were written by Satan, or satanic infiltration of peace and harmony in the church of, uh, and the spreading of liberalism in the church is satanic infiltration. Either or. I mean, you would be surprised how many, pa you, every time, you t if you go to church and you're a church boy, and you talk to a pastor, you would be surprised how many times they would recommend yoga they're against yoga if they're really really following the Bible they would be against it truth I mean it's they can say whatever they want but when they when the church starts talking about how Jesus was a, a, a Buddhist from like Egypt or Tibet and you know that's false. That is the satanic spirit. I mean, like, you gotta be woke, people. If your pastors are telling you to practice yoga rather than prayer, and would teach you that Christ was not the Son of God, and was not a miracle worker, but a Buddhist from Tibet, your ass is straight up being tricked by the devil. I mean, if you're Christian, I'm not Christian. I'm not Christian, but I'm woke about this type of Christians that would tell you that. You gotta be woke as shit about the liberal state of the church. Why the church is liberal. You have to be woke on that shit. You'd be surprised how many times people go to church and then, you know, they would, in their normal lives, in their 
neighborhoods, they would play, like, hip-hop and metal and all of this. Well, that's a form... Music is a form of sorcery, too. If you think about it, because all of those notes is meant to persuade you. I'm not Christian, and I'm woke as hell. In fact, there are many books about exposing this, the false satanic spirit of the modern-day church, where they talk about yoga, kundalini, as the force of God. It's the force of the serpent. There are books online to check out, if this video is not persuasive enough. You can say the same for people that uh, re religiously follows TV shows like um, Ancient Aliens and all of that, because it's all about Egypt. If you watch the show, it's all about Egypt. And what is about Egypt that most people consider? The old film by Kenneth Anger that goes by the name of Lucifer Rising. It's an old school film, and I highly recommend it. But Kenneth Anger was uh, interested in witchcraft forever. He was a huge follow follower of Aleister Crowley and one of the high lieutenants of the official Church of Satan. And he committed a movie called Lucifer Rising, if you decode what that movie means. Because he, uh, he made his movies um, occultically. Um, not occultically, that's a, a bad way to say it. But it's all about the the pagan, pagan gods of Egypt. If you watch the movie, there's a, a, like a corny Elvis style jacket that's gay, has the gay rainbow going down, but says Lucifer. You know, I love the nineteen all these old school references, but it's mostly about the Egyptian gods awakening, not Lucifer, but the ancient gods. And if you do your proper research of the Bible. Nimrod, the pagan god Nimrod, the, the Hades, uh, the pagan god Hades, Zeus, Artemis, Easter, Ishtar, are all deities in the Bible. They have their own references in the Bible, and and Moloch, and well, like, like I said before, they're all the nemesis of the one true, true god of the Bible. These, and the people that get into mysticism and all that, they follow these pagan gods. And then they still go to church and pretend to be Christian. I'm not saying this as a Christian, or as a Satanist, or as a Thelemite. I'm just saying this as a person. This whole video is just me as a person. Declaring these type of people. And it's all there. Just check it out yourself. There's the falsities, the, these false ideas of mixing different religions from country to country to Christian literature. Oh, well, Horus, the son of Isis and Osiris, well, he was Christ of to the Egyptians, ha ha ha. And, you know, all of this. And Dionysus being, you know, well, in reality, these type of people that think, oh, while well, Christian, it's all the same religion type of mentality, are intentionally falsifying it to give uh, to give relevance to the devil churches, to the devils of this earth rather than God. And we are waiting on the other side of the fence. We are waiting for these type of people. To go out and say they're making us look like racists that hate women, that hate the transgenders, that hate the pagans, because we are the Christians. We are waiting for them to say that and say, actually, we're not fabricating you. The fact that we that you think another force is fabricating you to make you look crazy makes you even more crazy. We are waiting for that fucking day. And we are waiting for that. The, the devil is waiting for that. To be honest, the devil, the force of the devil is waiting for you to say, well, the trans, are waiting for Christians and Christianity to say that the okay symbol is satanic or that the Buddha Mutra is satanic. We are, the devil's waiting for Christianity to say that. We, 
the Christian, uh, the devil's also waiting for the liberalism to be painted as satanic. Transgender acceptance as satanic. Just as much as he's waiting for the satanic pop videos to be satanic. Because as soon as the woke Christians start pointing out that transgenderism or the Buddhist Mutra 666 here is satanic, the more the devil can damn them. And that's true.